Hi guys, I'm Randy with BRS TV and today we're exploring the Ecotech Marine's Radeon XR30 Pro LED light fixture. Today we'll go over choosing the right amount of fixtures to fit your needs, various mounting options, as well as light placement and settings to optimize them for your reef. The Radeon XR30 Pro is one of the most powerful compact module LED fixtures currently out there, capable of pushing out 190 watts of light and covering nearly every spectrum mix you could think of. That means this light can handle some pretty hefty tanks, however with its feature rich capabilities it's also able to meet the demands of nearly every tank type out there, large and small. With this latest version of the Radeon Ecotech upgraded to the HEI optics over each individual LED, which means more usable light with even par and spread over a fairly large area. This also means more of your tank can be covered by a single fixture and helps reduce your need for multiple lights for many common tank types. Including that, the Radeon XR30 Pro uses the same wireless technology as your other Ecotech reef gear, which you can combine together into one easy-to-use control center using a reef link and EcoSmart Live. Lastly, although the Radeon is able to produce a wide range of color spectrum, they don't leave you in the dark with how to tune it to produce happy and thriving corals. Instead, they provide you with preset templates using the tested spectrums that are known to grow corals from their own coral lab experiments. Let's take a look at how many XR30s you may need for your tank. Each Radeon module is very powerful, which is conducive to those higher par demand corals like in mixed tanks and SPS dominant tanks. However, you could utilize a single fixture for a low par demand tank, which you'd likely mount around 12 inches or higher to illuminate a 3 foot area. Although at that point you may be better served getting two Radeon XR15s to more evenly spread out the light source at lower mounting heights and reduce spillover. For a mixed tank with a little bit of everything from soft coral to LPS to a few SPS, using a single Radeon for every two feet of tank with a mounted parallel to the length of the tank should provide more than enough light. Finally, for you SPS heads who dream of a tank filled side to side and top to bottom with high par demand sticks and encrusters, where an even coverage and reductions in shadowing and shading are more important, mounting a Radeon parallel over every 16 to 18 inches of a tank should produce solid successful results. Although for you same advanced SPS junkies with tanks deeper than 24 inches from front to back, you may find that the most ideal install is a Radeon mounted perpendicular with the pucks oriented front to back over every 12 inches of the tank. Here's a few popular accessories you can consider adding to your Radeon XR30 to increase its usability and features. Using the Ecotech Reef Link, you can access your LED from nearly anywhere in your home, which makes it adjustable and controllable from smartphones to tablets to wirelessly on your home computer. Along with that, the Reef Link can also integrate other Ecotech gear like Vortex, Vector Return Pumps, and additional Radeons into EcoSmart Live. Ecotech also offers a diffuser for the XR30 Radeon that's uniquely designed to create a more natural shimmer by eliminating the disco ball effect, as well as combine the individual spectrum of each LED and blend them into a more cohesive spectrum across the entire lighting area. Not only that, but it only adds about a half inch of extra thickness and looks hardly noticeable when installed. For those of you with an aquarium controller like the Neptune Apex, you can add the XR30 to the list of controllable reef gear through the Apex Fusion dashboard by connecting the Radeon's internal wireless communication via Neptune's WXM module. With these two connected, you'll be able to create customized schedules, intensities, and spectrum for easy integrated control. Finally, there are mounting options available which are all designed to meet many different tank types and reefer styles. The most popular is the RMS tank mount kit to mount an individual light, the RMS track to mount multiple lights with a hanging option as well as RMS arms for mounting directly to the tank, and finally a solo light fixture hanging kit, all of which we'll cover in more detail a bit later. Also, for those of you who like to keep the power supplies conveniently up and out of the way, there are power supply brackets available to keep them from possible leaks or spills. Let's get an idea of what you can expect when you open the box of your Radeon XR30 Pro, in which case you'll get a single light fixture measuring at a very slim 1.5 inches thick, about 11.5 inches wide and just about 7 inches front to back. You'll also see two pucks of LEDs which are spaced about 7.5 inches apart and each with 23 individual diodes ranging in colors from cool white, deep blue, blue, green, photo red, UV, violet, and warm white. 
One note here, if you select the non-pro version of the XR30 Radeon, you'll get the same fixture but with a variation in the amount and type of LEDs. For example, the XR30 non-pro Radeon, you'll get two pucks of 17 individual LEDs without the violet and warm white spectrum LEDs and with a few less of the same other colors. Outside of that, there's a port on the side of the fixture to connect the included USB cable directly to your computer for programming, as well as a power supply and driver that extend to give you about 216 inches of reach. Along with that, there's also four hanging eyelets for a DIY hanging option, a quick setup guide, and a soft lens cleaning cloth. There are several ways to mount your Radeon XR30 Pro, however one of the quickest and most simple ways is by using the RMS XR30 tank mount kit, which includes three length choices for sliding rails to extend the light over the back of the tank from 7 inches with the shortest rail out to a bit over 16 inches with the longest. The clamp of the RMS tank mount opens a little over 1 inch with the included spacer or up to 2 inches without and is also capable of being removed to get around some wider tank trims. With the Radeon installed, you'll get about 7 inches from the bottom of the light fixture to the top of the tank. Following the same form and function as the RMS tank mount kit, you can mount multiple Radeons on a single low profile rail from 20 inches all the way up to a 90 inch rail using the multi-light RMS arm kit and the XR30 slide mounts. These arm kits will give you the same 7 inches of mounting height for the Radeons, but will also allow you to slide and swivel each one independently until you get the perfect spread and coverage. Finally, if clamping arms or mounts to your tank isn't possible or you'd just rather have your Radeon suspended over your tank, you could pick up the same RMS rail and an RMS hanging kit for a sleek option for a single or multiple lights, or you could hang each Radeon individually on their own using a cable style hanging kit. Setup and programming is pretty easy using the included USB cable and downloadable connection manager software or wirelessly through your ReefLink. The first thing you'll want to do to get your lights set up is to sign up for an EcoSmart Live account and download the connection manager software. Once you have your light connected, you can log into your EcoSmart Live account, choose the devices tab and find your Radeon XR30. Now you can move the light into your new aquarium setup on the right, hit done and you're ready to start programming your daily schedule. There are a lot of features within EcoSmart Live to play around with, which you can use to customize your tank, so be sure to take some time to click around things like the Aquarium Setup feature, where you can match your tank profile to the same tank dimensions and equipment you're using. Moving on to setting up your lighting schedule, when it comes to choosing a spectrum, although Ecotech provides you with adjustability of each individual LED spectrum, they also provide users with preset templates as starting points, including settings from their very own Coralab testing. Using the Coral Lab template for AB+, which is designed around spectrums from the tried and true ATI Blue Plus and AquaBlue Special T5 bulbs, we found that provides the best success for nearly all tank types and it's what we recommend. After you've loaded the template, you can choose your lighting schedule, which you may want to start with a total photo period of around 7 to 9 hours and adjust as necessary down the road. Next, you can choose your max intensity peak throughout the day, and if you followed our recommendations for how many radions you'll need for various tank types and sizes, here's what we recommend for starting intensities. If you opt to use a Radeon XR30 Pro for those very low par demand tanks and have them mounted around 12 inches above the water surface, an intensity of 30% or lower will do the trick. While those mixed tanks with one light fixture for every two foot of tank mounted at nine inches will be better off at a max intensity of around 60%. Thinking of using Radeons for your tanks littered with high par demand SPS, if you mounted your lights in a parallel configuration with each light covering a 16 to 18 inch area, you could get away with a 50% intensity which will account for the naturally higher par areas where the lights intersect inside the tank. However, for you SPS nuts out there who opted for a perpendicular mounted Radeon for every 12 inches of tank, like 4 over a single 4 foot tank, we'd recommend topping out the intensity of around 35% for that ideal super even coverage with pretty high level pars at near the top of the tank. As you would with any new lighting source or major change in the tank, slowly acclimating your corals to the desired intensity is usually best practice and Ecotech makes it very easy using an included acclimation mode in the daily schedule that allows you to set the period of weeks and starting intensity for it to increase over time. Just remember that slower is always better and once you've created your schedule, you can save the settings, program the light and it's ready to go. 
We really like to drive home the importance of periodic maintenance for our reef gear investments, and the Radeon XR30 is definitely worth taking a tiny bit of time to occasionally clean and inspect to make sure that it lasts you and your tank quite some time. We recommend cleaning the heat sink and fan area with some canned air every so often, as well as keeping the LED lenses clean from any buildup or salt creep splash that may reach it. Lastly, with lighting coral in mind, we've found great success in coral health by providing them a stable environment. So when it comes to providing your tank with a steady light source, we highly recommend finding a lighting setting and sticking with it. Although we have the ability to adjust nearly every color in the rainbow as it pertains to spectrum, staying with one that supports your coral's demands will most likely lead to a higher level of success in the long term. Thanks for watching and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.